My name is John. I'm a prospector and peddler at Raleigh Denim, and we're going to show you how to make some jeans. We start making our jeans in um, a very different way than probably anybody else does. We have a pattern maker who is the second pattern maker ever hired at Levi's. She hand draws, she hand grades all of our patterns. When the patterns get made, they go to the cutting table and we hand draw all of our markers. After we cut it, the pieces of fabric go down the production line and on the sewing lines, the pockets get placed on. Pockets from our jeans take about 20 minutes to place in contrast to 11 seconds in the bigger factories. The panels from the front and back of the leg get placed together. After the majority of the jean is made, we start putting on details like bar tacks and rivets. This is our tip jar. Every, every time you make a mistake, you put it in here. <laughs> every time you tip, God saves a kitten. We hem the machines and we put the buttonholes in the jeans and all this is using old machines from the 20s, 30s and 40s. It's what keeps it such a good baby. Very well behaved machine. We get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> we use a Reese buttonholer that's from the 20s. That machine itself has buttonholed about upwards of 100 million jeans. The stitching is incomparable to newer automated machines. What makes Raleigh really special is that we're an old world crafted product. We have a modern fit. We're super responsible. We have a craft aspect. We have an ecological aspect and we also have a fashion aspect to our brand. Victor and Sarah started talking to workers, the workers who were laid off in the mills and factories around Raleigh, and they learned an old skill craft set from these workers. In downtown Raleigh, we only make about 300 jeans a week. It makes a product that's extremely responsible and useful and beautiful.